What's going on guys? Matt over here with Lethal Camaro and today I'm excited because I'm removing something that I honestly feel has been the biggest eyesore when you pop your hood. And what is that? It is the terrible giant white-ish that gets yellowed expansion tank for your coolant. And I don't like it. I, I don't like you. Ugly. Like, mine used to be white and pretty, and now it's like this discolored nastiness. And as you can maybe see, there's some cool design elements I have going on underneath my hood, and this does not fit that. It doesn't. So, early on, actually, right when I had gotten my 6th gen Camaro, there was a company on the Camaro 6 forms that was advertising the potential of making something to replace that to look a lot better or be better. Now, this is just an expansion tank, so this is not a performance mod. It's not a, it's not an anything mod. It's a, this looks like poo and I want it to look better. That's exactly what this is. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attempt to make that look better. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how Mishimoto has created an expansion tank. They offer it in multiple colors. There's a black one and they have a polished version. And this is a direct replacement. Now, before I even looked at this or decided how the install was gonna go, I, I was like, man, this might be a little difficult or it might be hard to do. But in looking at it, it's really only mounted in three spots. And in one of those spots, it actually has a bolt. The other two spots just have rubber washers that hold it in place. So. You reuse your stock GM cap, which you can see on there, just screws right on there. And there's two points of disconnect. So you have the main overflow here, or the main flow of your coolant uh, right here on the bottom side, and it's just held on by a clip. And then there's the smaller overflow side that's a much smaller clip. And literally, it's undoing that clip and then undoing the clip on the back side, and I'll get a better view when we're doing that. And then bolt it back in, which Here's that initial bolt. So, yeah, I think this is gonna look a heck of a lot better. Here, let me put it the right way. A heck of a lot better than that ugly plastic white thing. And the other side of it is this unit does have the ability to see where the coolant level is because some people might be worried, well, how do I know how much coolant there is? Well, on, the, sorry, camera's not working. On the front side, you will see a coolant line level. They do have a cold line. So you can see it carry right on over. And then same, there's an actual bolt screw that is clear. You can actually see fluid in there once it's in there. So you could still see your fluid levels. So they have the cold lines, they have it all marked out. It's easy to do. And one thing that I did do before anything, obviously I unboxed it, but <clears throat> I filled it up with water. I filled both tanks up with water, the expansion tank and the overflow tank, and made sure there wasn't any leaks. Now. This product looks pretty high quality. You could see the welds. I didn't think it was gonna leak anywhere, but you know what? These these mounting points here with the bolt, um, where the, the plastic is to see the fluid line, I just wanted to triple check and make sure there was no potential for leaking there. Um, and I'll keep an eye on that over time, but overall, we're gonna install this and it'll be pretty easy. And yeah, it's a really clean product. They do have the flex tubing here. They have a nice cap for the fill tube. It's pretty quality, in my opinion. It looks good. Let's get down and close. Looking all over. They do have the Mishimoto logo on there. That's cool. But there you go. But let's get right on into installing this bad boy and see how it all goes together. Sorry, before we actually start doing this, I wanna highlight one thing. When you're installing this on your vehicle, you wanna do it with a cold car or a mostly cold car. So you'll notice as your fluid gets hot, the expansion tank will fill up, and as it cools off, it all drains back down into the abyss of tubes that is all around your vehicle. Um, you, again, you do not wanna do this in your car while it's hot. Let it cool off and it will be far easier to take on. So let's go ahead and do it. So for the install, don't let this be scary. Basically, all you need is a pliers or a wrench or vice grips, whatever you have in your toolbox that will squeeze this uh, clamp that holds the, the hose in place on the front and the backside. 
and you need a ratchet or a socket to be able to remove this bolt. So first step, this is a 10 millimeter bolt or roughly 10 millimeters. A 10 millimeter socket fits this bolt. So I'm just gonna unscrew this. There we go. So now we're gonna loosen this clip. I don't even know what they call this. I'm just gonna call it a clip. But if you squeeze that, it gets really loose. And let's see if we can pull this tubing off. And because my car's cold, we shouldn't have any issue of liquid squirting everywhere. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this stays above all the other tubes, so just in case that fluid line is down in here somewhere, I don't want that to leak out of the vehicle. Same with back here. Actually, can you get a good angle on this? So this one's a little trickier to get to, but again, it's as simple as squeezing on it and just pulling it off. See, on this one, you can actually see a little bit of fluid, but look, this thing just pulls right on out. Simple as that. So you can see in the stock one, there's a little bit of fluid here, a little bit of fluid right there. So we are going to need the rubber cap. It looks like I'm actually, it doesn't look like there was any cap on this one, but there was a rubber cap here that will transfer over and we do need to take the lid off, but I'm just going to stick this in the driveway so it can leak fluids out. Ugly piece of junk. So come over. Mishimoto one, I'll put that rubber clamp on. What I'm gonna do is just come straight right back over here. And because this is a beautiful, nice black powder coat, I do not wanna scratch it up. So I'm gonna be a little careful in dropping this in here. Oh, I guess I needed to line this up a little bit better. So make sure that's on there nice and tight. Now we're going to go ahead and take this hose clamp. And slide this hose all the way on. And I'm going to let that clamp sit right in there. Good, so that side's hooked up. There we go. Slide with me. So if you're like me and had that sitting on the other side before you went over the hump, it could be a little difficult. There we go. There. Now that's on. So all that's left at this point is really, I mean, I'm going to, so I need to go down and get some more fluid because I'm going to put a little more fluid in the car, but really it's just putting the cap on. That's on, make sure that cap's on. Bam. That, I think that what, took like six minutes, maybe? I don't even know. <laughs> that was easy. That is an easy, direct replacement. And I will say, just off the top of my head, the Mishimoto quality on this product is super high. Um, I'm very impressed. I was very impressed with their catch can. I had their catch can on my car before I put the Pro Charger on. Really like that product. This product is just as good, if not better. Um, it looks good. It feels good. Now the question is, is longevity? And we won't know that until we start driving the car for a while, but it looks clean. I think it totally transforms the bay. There's no longer a white, nasty thing standing out looking terrible. I love it. I love it. So that's it. That's the install guide for the Mishimoto uh, expansion tank replacement. Um, you guys can pick this up. It's a couple hundred bucks. It's not cheap, but you know what? For people who want to dress up their engine bay, nothing's cheap in there. 
Um, it, it looks clean, so they have the black. They do have the polished um, metal one. I, I think it's aluminum. I could be wrong, but I think it's aluminum. Um, but it's polished, it looks really clean. So I wanted black because I wanted to blend in. I'm going with a, micro, or a microfiber, a carbon fiber trim within under the hood uh, with black accents. So I think it looks great. Overall, A plus on the product, super easy install. Anyone can do this. Again, you saw a 10 millimeter socket with a pair of pliers is really all you need. So super easy, super awesome. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this content, hit that uh, subscribe link. If not, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. And as a denote, I do wanna highlight this because I always should. This product was provided by Mishimoto. I will say I did pre-order this product ahead of time. I put my order in, paid just like everyone else. But Mishimoto reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in doing an install guide. I said yes. They sent me a product. This is the guide. So thank you, Mishimoto, um, for the product. And I will say, you know, non-biased. This is a very high quality product here. Very impressed with it. But yes. So if I don't see you in the next video or the next disclaimer, I'll see you on the road. What's going on, guy? Wow, that was really exciting. What? What? What's going on? No. Hi, I'm Mr. Mishimoto, and I'm here with Lethal Camaro to install. Wait, penguins don't fly. Ah! <laughs> what the hell?